If your commercial roof was installed correctly, you may never even think about your warranty. But what happens when that warranty expires? We'll be covering that and more in just a moment. An expired roof warranty is a reminder that you need to keep your aged system in working condition. Our team of experts at West Roofing Systems work with customers on their new and existing warranties every day. The question always comes up, what should you do after your original roof warranty expires? Hi, I'm Greg Barney Haas from West Roofing Systems. I'm here to talk about what you can do if your warranty expires. There's a few options that you have when your warranty expires. Um, one of them that we at West Roofing offer is a uh, silicone restoration system, um, also considered an SRM. Um, basically what we can do is we can come in and if the existing roof system is in dry condition and sound condition, we can come in and uh, basically come in, get the roof prepped and put uh, a silicone coating system over top of that and increase your warranties at, at any increments that you would like. A lot of people don't realize that, you know, once their warranty is out, sometimes they're not aware of that warranty going out because they they had a good system on there. It didn't have any failures to it, no leaks. You know, they don't think about it. It's not a good thing because eventually, you know, it's your roof is actually aging at that point um, to where you are eventually going to have a catastrophic event, which could cause, you know, substantial damage and uh, a high cost to it. But you got to understand that eventually that's, that system is going to wear down. Um, you're going to start losing your waterproofing properties. And eventually you're going to start having problems to where it's going to be a lot more repair costs coming out of pocket. Contractor's guarantee warranty or considered a contractor's warranty, which is the contractor supplies the warranty, which also supplies the material that's put on that roof system and also a lot of times it could be a one year, two year, five years, 10 year, 15 or 20 year. Basically on the material warranty, they cover the material only. Sometimes uh, it's just this material itself that has a failure and they will cover that. Um, a lot of times some of them warranties in that scope of manufacturer's material warranty a lot of the labor is not covered in that sometimes. So you've got to really look at your warranty when you receive one and see all the main details of it to, to know that you're getting covered with a material warranty because basically just material only. Now in a manufacturer's full system warranty, the manufacturer covers its material and a lot of the accessories in the roof system um, once it's complete, like flashings and details and stuff like that, and also the labor involved for any repairs that needed to be done in that warranty period. Preferably on a, on a warranty, uh, any contractor or manufacturer's warranty, they do require you come out and do a one-year inspection. Um, the inspection is basically uh, to check the, the function of the roof, uh, make sure there's no material failures, um, any major leaks going on, which also covers you in your contract with the warranty manufacturer or the contractor itself. Basically, when you look at a warranty, and a lot of times we all do this too, um, you forget about it. Now, if you have a good system that's put on your roof, you forget about, oh, you know, you forget about your warranty. You should always keep that in the back of your mind that, hey, you know, I do have a warranty on my roof. I got to make sure that I, you know, at least keep up with the, you know, the requirements for the warranty. So I stay in the warranty grace period. Um, one is to make sure that we have that one year inspection. And it's like everybody else. It's something that, you know, it's above us. I'm not leaking. I don't have any problems. We forget about it. There's a lot of issues that come into your warranty and why a lot of things aren't covered under warranty. That's why, you know, I tell my customers, hey, please read your warranty. I mean, I explain it to them as much as I can, but there's a lot of things that, you know, it breaks it out, it explains what makes your warranty invalid. Now, if your warranty is voided and you have issues, it's, it's basically gonna come out of your pocket. 
To learn more about commercial roof warranties, you can visit our website or check out the link in the description to read our entire article.